can see here where the two branches were rubbing so that was down i've taken all the weight out of that i'm going to take that straight back to the stem Good morning everyone. Morning. We are on morning. a Saturday job today. We are crown lifting and thinning out these ash. We brought a hoist with us just to make life a little bit easier. So enjoy us. Enjoy us. I mean, what do I mean? What do I mean, <laughs> Kyle? <laughs> Join us. Join us on this adventure today in the trees. Enjoy the video. This is Billy Big Balls preparing for tree number one. It's going to be an interesting day with Billy. Billy is a Brit. I have my moments with Billy. He's like my little Jack Russell, so he is. He comes out barking and yet I'm just nice and calm until he pisses me off to the point where I have to explode. <laughs> but we love Billy. Here we are, boys. Billy's up there in the fucking ice. Here's Kyle. Billy has an erection up there, so he does. A big, dirty erection. Don't you bear! take this head out down there just above the last cut is a bad a bad area where the two limbs have been rubbing so I'll show you that when I go down I'm not gonna take this limb out completely I'm just gonna take all this weight off uh, just to make it a bit safer you can see here where the two branches were rubbing so that was down I've taken all the weight out of that I'm gonna take that straight back to the stem and I've taken all the weight off this one it's still solid, so hopefully now that's off, she'll, uh, she'll get a bit better. So that was the process there. So guys, we got the first tree done. We did a cr crown lift, so everything that was down here was gone. We kept these, and for the only reason we kept them, we would have taken them. The only reason is this tree, it's got a lean towards the building. So I've kept that as a kind of counterbalance to kind of balance it out a wee bit. But we've kept a good enough shape. We're not here to do a shape today. We're here literally to crown lift and take a few dead bits out and stuff like that. So that's the first one. Brian's now up this one. We're gonna do the same kind of thing. It's a bit smaller, so it should be a bit more manageable. And then we've got these two wee lads here. They won't take long at all. Everything's going smoothly so far. Enjoying our Saturday. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, guys. Mm -hmm. 
So guys, we're um, we're working on ash trees today. Um, if you're new to the business, in the last 10 years, 10, 15 years, ash has had a disease and it's become very, um, you know, it's throughout England, Ireland, Wales, Scotland, it's really taken a hold. And this is the kind of stuff you're dealing with. Um, Jesus Christ, these are the people I'm dealing with. Anyway, as you can see, this is the kind of stuff you're dealing with with ash. So if you're climbing ash, just make sure you throw your eye around the tree, the bottom of the tree before you climb. And when you're climbing, just give it a good look and make sure you're not tying into stuff because maybe that's upside down like that and you're, not take, you're, you're rushing through the tree, but you don't realize it's hollow. And this is brittle stuff you can see. Uh, so guys, just be aware as beginners that this, this now is fairly dangerous, this ash. Uh, and that's why you'll see a lot of people taking them down now. Now this guy's not taking them down. He wants to keep them, uh, which is fair enough. I think personally maybe, maybe should have thought about taking them down. But look, if we can try and save the tree, why not give it a few more years? But I think eventually they're gonna go. Cars, lads! Thank you for listening. Last tree of the day. That fella. We are out of here. Hi guys, thank you for watching the video. If you got to this point of the video, You've obviously stuck around, so I appreciate that. I just want to have a quick chat about the video and the trees we were working on. So if you don't already know from the video, we were working on ash trees. Uh, experienced guys, you will know that there has been a disease around for a long time uh, with the ash trees that really now is starting to really show. Uh, and for guys like me that are around you know, for the last gone 10 years now, 15, 16 years, you would have heard about these early, this disease early on in your career. You might not have seen a whole lot of it back then, but now it's it's in every tree nearly. It, it's actually quite quite crazy. And and we've known about it. Do you know what I mean? We've climbed ash trees. We've, we've climbed ash trees that are very healthy and we come in contact with ones that aren't. So we can tell the difference. It's really easy for us to tell the difference. Where guys coming in now in the last year or two, or even now, it's hard for them to know if they start climbing an ash tree, is that okay? Now, it's something I think is really important, guys, that you check the tree before you climb it, as best as possible. Look, I know, there's some trees that are buried in briars or it's hard to get actually physically to the bottom and have a look, I know that. But even when you're climbing up, just throw your eye around the tree, checking for decay, rot. Every single time I'm recording. Fuck off. <laughs> so it's super important. Look, look guys, I've got, I brought a log back from the job that I want to show you. Um, now hopefully you can see it. One second there guys, sorry. Perfectly good looking log, as you can see. Looks solid. But this is how deceiving it can be. This log is completely, pretty much hollow. I mean you can even, that, that's not solid at all. Now you imagine that that log was cut fairly close to the stem of the tree. And that log, the branch itself was probably about 20 foot long. So you imagine you're out 
15 foot on that on that limb all the pressure of your weight on that limb will will be affecting where that hollow is it might be strong it is strong but the further you go out the more pressure it's going to put on so just for example you're out on that limb you're cutting it you're cutting near a power line the the limb snaps that now makes contact with the power line you're now part of that network now you, you become part of the power lines network and bang you're dead um or you, you're cutting trees over a shed or a house or whatever you step on that snaps it goes breaks the shed you swing back into a tree hopefully not damaging yourself maybe you only damage the building but these are the reasons you need to check these trees because for the guys like i said myself and lads that have been in the business long enough to to know about this disease we, we we can kind of handle it but for guys that are only coming in and haven't experienced climbing very healthy ash trees any trees they're, they're going to find it hard to to notice these little things that could be wrong with the tree so guys check the trees this was you know if i was climbing i wouldn't have seen that genuinely now it was on it was on the back side of the tree if i was going to walk out on it i would have been walking out on this healthy looking side and I never would have seen that. But it's just something to, to, uh, to have in your mind when you're climbing up, throw your eye around, maybe throw your hand around, just check. Check that there's no holes in the tree. Um, and climb safe, guys. That's, at the end of the day, we're not paid hundreds of thousands a year. We're, we're paid pretty much small money. So make sure you go home. That's, that's the thing, we're not superheroes. Um, yeah. Guys, I hope this this has helped you in some way. I hope it's going to make your climbing a bit safer. And take, take care in the trees, guys. And I'll see you on the next video.